Hey guys, and welcome back to an Unfiltered Gamer Lazy live stream, or I guess Lazy Playthrough in this case. Playthrough. This is our first Lazy Playthrough where we just play the game Imperial Spells and Steam by Level 99 Games. The game plays two to six players, but if you have the bonus stuff, I think there's a single player variant to it. And uh, cool. yeah, I, I don't, we don't have that though, unfortunately. But we are playing the two player variant of the game. And this game is basically a game where you're gonna move around the board and try and gather resources and whatnot. Me and Grant here are gonna be playing. He's playing the red faction and I'm playing the yellow faction. I'm playing with Seth Gremmel and you're playing with? Uh, Riley Kerrigan. Riley Kerrigan, all right. We have the board here, we've got the cities here, our trains, as well as the shop over here. There's additional characters on the side there and other stuff we're not using. This is pretty much all we need for the game though right here, and it plays 20 minutes per player, so this should be about a 40 minute game, or maybe longer in our case, because we're, yeah, gonna, be, uh, maybe. we're gonna be going at it pretty hard. Let's go ahead and get a close-up of the board here, so you guys can see a close-up of the board. This is the board here, and this is the setup for two players, and there's a city of each type. And each of the uh, different cities here are going to have a one, two, and a three card, which you'll be trying to gather. They're basically victory points at the end of the game. And then each space, based on the color, except for purple, are going to have these little tokens here, which are basically... Grab one more of the red ones from the box for the space. Which are basically going to uh, allow you to gather these cards here. There we go. There's an extra one there. Um, if you look over on this side, this is going to be the shop. You shuffle these up, you deal out six here, and these will be gathered as we move on our player board here. We'll be using this token here to move across and place trains down. We're going to have our characters, passive abilities that can get flipped over, or uh, abilities that get triggered, mm -hmm. and then we're going to have uh, passive abilities. These are once per game, and these are passive okay. or, or, co or continual use abilities. Got you, got you. And then we also have these guys here, which will help us out. Those are these place, cards yeah, that are placed out here. Perfect. Um, and then over here are our mana. This is our available mana. We each start with five. Grant's got it over there, but we can get more as we go along. Okay, so that's pretty much it. The setup is explained really well in the book, very simply. And in a two-player game, you're simply going to be using all of the, what, B or A sides. Yeah. And then you're going to make this specific area here, placing these cities on the colored spaces. And they are colored to show you what type of city you go there. Up, you want to make sure you have one of each city of each color. On yep. the board, so and then total six cities. all of these little guys here are just yep. placed on the exact matching, colored area. And then you got your boards and you got your uh, trains ready mine, to go. Mine all splayed out. All right, yours are all fancy, mine are not so fancy. Now, um, basically, what's going to happen in the game is you're going to take one of two actions you can either activate, which or move, and then activate, mm -hmm. or you can choose to administrate. And if you move, you'll have the option to transfer, and transfer just lets you move around the board a little faster. Moving is pretty simple. You will get the option of A, you can move once for free, and that's just moving once. You can move twice for one, three times for three, and four times for six. And the cost is associated here with mana. Mana is a pool, and you're always gonna have five for whenever you choose to refresh. And whenever you gather more, it will be added to your pool up to 10. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to go right here to start it off by to, to move, it would cost me one mana, and that would get removed from my pool which means that the next time I want to use mana, I'm only gonna have four left. And eventually when I have none left, I'll be using my secondary action. But as far as, as far as moving, you'll simply move. It'll cost me zero to move one. And then I can choose to activate any of these three areas here. For each one I activate after the first, it'll cost me one. And then for the after the second, it'll cost me three. So a total of four if I wanna use all of these spaces here. When I place things down, I'll place them all down this area first, and then I can place them all down this area. And when all of these are filled, I can then place them on the areas that actually have abilities on them. Each character has a unique ability, as well as each board has unique places where you can place yep. your trains down. Um, and we'll just go ahead and explain that while we're playing the game. But for, me, for instance, mine, I can actually use all of my abilities for free once when I do this ability. And I just going to go ahead and flip it over. And Grant Mine's has the ability. I, move, uh, I can move up to three spaces for zero, and the final spot costs me two. Yes. So a total of two movement for four instead of ten for four. Additionally, there are two specific things we're trying to gather in this game. Uh, these are basically unique objectives we're going for. This one over here is whoever has the most mana crystals, these, these little tiles here, as well as uh, what? These things. Uh, as well as these characters here. And this one over here? Uh, whoever has the most unclaimed goods in their network and these are unclaimed goods right here oh uh, yeah okay. so when you put the train on them that'll be part of your network so you're this is basically not collect the things 
So the exact opposite of mm -hmm. the other one. The, Interesting. Well, it's the opposite of the point of the game, right? So. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the setup. I'm, I'll go ahead and go first. So you, you'll you start by placing a train on any desert hex, and then you'll place one on any uh, adjacent one that's not a city or wasteland. And because you're red, you'll do the same, but you'll do it with a uh, oh. lava area. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and go first. I'll place it. Hmm. How about here? And here. And this starts over here. Sure. And then I'll go maybe here and here. Okay. And now I'll go ahead and take the first action. Yep. So I'm going to choose to move. Yep. Because I don't need to administrate. Administrate basically lets me refresh everything, which I'll talk about when that happens. But you know how, how moving functions. So I'll go ahead and move one. That's free to move. Mm -hmm doesn't cost me any mana. And then I'm going to activate. And there's only one thing to activate here, which is this one, which allows me to put a train on any of these three colors, whether it be yellow, uh, whether it be... Desert, glacier, or storm. Desert or glacier. Desert, glacier, or storm. Okay. Um, well, I'll take a train. I have to place it adjacent to my other trains here. So I'm going to place it right here. All right. So now I've got three trains, one, two, and three. And associated with the trains are the two desert pieces and one stone piece. Alright, I'll just go one. And then I can place on a lava stone or water. So I'll place here. Easy peasy? Yep. Alright, I will go now. Uh, once again, I'll move. Do I want to move one or two? I think just one actually. One. Yeah. I'll move one. And then I will place on a green, on a forest. So now my trains get a little bigger. Cute. And all I've done that. I moved and I activated, so now it's your turn. Um okay. I think I'll use my hero power. So I can now move up to four spaces. Or uh zero 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 and two. So I'll go zero, 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 and two. And then I'll choose to activate. And I'll activate both of these for a total of three. Uh, so I can place on a red or an ice. So I'll place here. And then I can choose one of these stacks and gather one of them. And then I will refresh my things. So I'll how about purple? And then uh, while I'm selecting this, you can take your turn. All right, so I am going to move, hmm. I'll move three, which is gonna cost me four. And now I can place on a desert or water space. Yep. And I will place on a desert space. And then I also get to take a tile a if I spend effort. one, right? Yep. So I will. So I spend all five of mine. Then I will choose any one of these, right? So this one here lets me what put a train on the yellow as yep. well as gain a mana. You refresh a mana. Refresh a mana. Ooh, that's pretty useful. And then this one over here. That one looks like uh, it has additional transfer options. What's that one called? This one is called a firewater fabricator. I think I'll go with the ocean one though. Yep. Build one track on the terrain type shown, one city and one wasteland transfer is free for this build. All right, well, I just I just went for this one here. Okay. It's this little baby. Put it over here. All right, so before my action, I'm going to exhaust this to use its effect, which is to gain a spell card. So I'll gain, uh, gain this solar card here. 
And then for my, I'll choose the move action, and I'll move to the end of the line. Now I could uh, deliver if I if that was possible, and then I'll choose one of these things to upgrade. And I think I'll take two spell cards. And when moving to the deliver the end of the line, do I do you just simply go back to the green area? Yep. Okay. Because this ends your your ability to move. So. So, well, that's it. All right. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go over here. Okay. Deliver if possible, or if you want. So, one, two, and three. Yep. So, these will go where? Uh, back in the box. And they're gone forever, right? Yep. Okay. And I just take this two here. Yep. And where do I put it? Right over here? Yep. All right. Now, in this case, I need, what, one, two, three, four of them? Uh, it's six to trigger the end game. Well, this one says five plus, and this says four. Uh, yeah, if you play with the five players, you only need four. And then uh, four players, you need five. And then two and three players, you need six. Oh, okay. All right. So I've done that. Now I get to take one of these actions here. Yeah. This so lets you, me gather one and refresh and all. refresh all of them. Choose one of these and add it and refresh. I will gain a mana, which I'll take from this little pile here. Mm -hmm. And now I'm at six. And then I refresh them all and I go back here, right? Yep. All right, so I got now. So basically on that run, I was able to acquire victory points. I was able to acquire additional mana. And I got one of these cars here. Yep. Pretty useful. All right, I'll go here and I'll place a... Okay. Yep. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got all my mana back, which is nice. Hmm. Uh, I see why placement matters for this. So this might not have been the best spot if I'm going to choose to refresh. So maybe I don't need this one as much there, but oh well. I've placed it. It has been done. I guess I'll go there. Hmm. Now I'll place a train on. I'm going to choose yellow, white, or gray. I guess yellow. Yeah. And then I'm also able, if I want to, I can spend one mana, mm -hmm. right, to place one on blue. Yeah. And I get to refresh one mana, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll put it back. All right. And that's it. That's all I can do. I will uh, administrate so that'll refresh this. I'll refresh all of my mana. Come see Mikey. You in my house? Um, I'll refresh all of my mana, and then I'll gain a card. And since there's only two in here, these get discarded and put out six random ones. So when there's only two left, these are going to get discarded. And I'm just going to add new ones. And you just put, pick them randomly right from the stack here? Yeah. you have so many because i got i chose this perk and i have a one that gives me one every round oh wow okay. or not every round but every time it refreshes so it's your turn again all right hmm i can go three and that's going to cost me three mana. And then I can place on a red. Hmm. Do I want to go actually run all the way? I don't know. Yeah, 
let's go all the way go four because that is going to give me a blue and then i'll also get another one of these guys here hmm what's this one do over here that one looks like you get to get one to choose pay two to choose one of these or gain a mana what's it called the guilt runner gain a special to refresh your no that's not it um, refinery guard yeah uh, gain a specialist or gain mana. oh and i had to pay six to get here huh so I don't have any of these mana left, which means I have to use my ability. So that way, this is free. Mm -hmm. I can place this here. And you can't place it there. Oh, that's right. I have to place it in one of these three areas, yes. don't I? Oof. That's rough. Remember that these ones have more costs. But then again, that you could line up all of the bonus costs to align with your ability. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of putting here. But I guess, I guess we'll put it there. Okay. All right, go ahead. All right, I will move, which allows me, I'm gonna activate both of them. Um, so I'll pay one. Let's see, so I get a stoner desert and then a magma. How much does it cost you to throw something? If I choose this one over here, uh, the the pink one, I get two of them. Yep. Oh, okay. That's how I have so many. Uh, okay, so I get. So here's, I'll place two to go through you. And I'll place here. And then I'll reclaim one. And then I'll place on a stone. That's it. All right. Well, I gotta go to the end of the line. Okay. Now, what do I want to do? You can gain a mana and refresh. You can uh, gain a specialist. I'm gonna. And refresh I am, your I'm gonna do the mana thing again. We'll go that route. I don't get as many abilities, but that's okay. I'll pay one to activate both of them. So I'll get a desert and reclaim one. And then I will gain a lava. And you can do them in any order as well? Yep. Okay. All right, so you've actually got a train going like this. And he used transfer. And so transfer allows him, when he moves, he can spend currency which I think you guys can see over here. You can spend two mana to move across another person's train. You can spend three to go over a city and four to go over a purple wasteland, which are these spaces here, which are basically useless spaces unless otherwise stated. Okay, so you my still turn. You have to place on the same tile, but you can uh, count other people's tiles uh, as, as though they're uh, yours while you're, when you're placing. Which is also important because this line here is also attached to this line here when it comes to scoring and gathering points yep. and whatnot. All right, let's go one here. And I will place so I get yellow, ice. Let's go with an ice one, I guess. And I also can spend one for a blue. And then I get to refresh one mana. That's it. Look at my train. That's pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. Although, he's kind of the Lone Ranger. He's like going off on his own. Okay, I'll activate this, and I'll take this, and place it here, and then I'll 
move. And I'll take a desert that gives me one free uh, company transfer, which is will be available twice over yours. And I'll just place this here. Trying to go for my yellow now, huh? And then it will be your turn. All right. Well, this one lets me do what again? You choose to gain one of these or gain a mana. So it cost you three to activate both of them. Guess we'll just go there. Okay. That's it. That's all I can do. Okay. I'll go here. I'll spend three, which will give me a lava or a um, ice and a guy. I'm refreshing my characters. Um, so, let's see. A lava or an ice. Now, there's no real reason for me to want this yellow one anymore, huh? Or can uh, I actually still, I can get these, still, huh? Uh, other demands to be met. Okay, so I can still meet these demands even though I've already met the second, this one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go here. Okay. What happens when you run out of trains? Uh, that's another trigger for the end of the game. Okay. Um, okay, and then I will grab one of these and this refreshes. So while I'm doing this, you can take your turn. extra mana or it will give me one of these guys here of my choice sorry what when you're done because i get to choose one of these guys of my choice okay are you picking the same one as me i think so okay i yeah i, I don't know what they are so these are the the passive ones yeah yeah you get some kind of passive bonus can you look at them whenever you'd like Mm, I don't think so. It says you put them face down and then you grab them and uh Well, I mean, provided you've played the game once before, you're probably gonna know if they're as long as no one else has taken anything. Okay, those those goods that you delivered, I think you actually keep them by your by your side. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, this one is. Alright, we'll just put them over here. I think I'm gonna take this. What do they do? This one is when I administrate, I can deliver one good. Uh, when you administrate, you may build track in your home terrain. If you deliver at the end of the line without taking a demand tile, add two goods from the supply to your folio. These goods must match the color of the city in your network. Uh, okay, that's Sart and Voco. Who else was there? Simon La Fache. That one's obvious. It changes the movement cost. Okay, I'll take him. Okay. He seems good. You already have him, basically. But just not as a passive, right? Yeah. Alright, your turn. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go to end of the line. I'm going to deliver uh, Desert. So, here and here. <laughs> So go here, and then I will choose to refresh my mana and gain one. So if you give me a mana from the box. And there you go. Okay. It goes back to the start. I'm sure. <sighs>
So that's free then for me, right? I two spaces is free for you. Yes. It's gonna cost me one mana. Plus one to do this. Make sure not to forget about these. All right, water. And I get one of these guys. Yep. Okay. These go. Yep. So that gives me a green, which I can do a free city or waste transfer. Okay. Um, city or waste transfer. I'll place here for the stone. And I'll place here for a forest. Okay, that's my turn. All right. Well, I got to go to the end of the line here. That's the end of the line for me. And I am going to turn in. I can only turn in once. Uh, I believe so. Blue, 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 and blue. Choose one city that is network adjacent to you. Pick any number of goods of that city's color that are in network and add them to your folio. Okay, so just one city, but I can take more than one of these guys. It says any number. Of goods of that city color and add them to your folio. Well, well I think you would only get one to Oh, uh, okay, so just one damn tile, but up to four. Uh, uh, you can spend up to f four goods then. So if I wanted to, I can only sp I can spend well, you two can actually three. deliver. You can actually take more tokens and not take a demand tile due to um, bonus. Either three not wanting to end the game, I guess. Or, or these things can give you points and whatnot, right? Yeah. Okay. And then, what do I want to do now? Oof. All right. I think we'll refresh just once more. A lot of mana here for me. Back to the beginning. So I got three, six, seven, eight. So I can only have two more mana total. Yep. All right, you're up. I will spend four to activate all three of my cards. I will gain a forest. I will gain a lava and uh, recover one of my mana. So one, two, three, four. Uh, then I need a stone or a desert. Jeez. And I guess I'll go stone. Okay, that is it for me. For sure. Hmm. I'll go here. That's free. Yep. One of these will go on the stone. I'll spend one, but then I'll put one back because I get to refresh. And I'll put one on the water here. I'm done. You're up. I think what I'll do is I will activate my power. And I'll go zero, 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 two. And I'll hit end of the line. And I'll turn in four forest tiles. Or four forest goods. So I can claim the big delivery for here. Um, end Aww. of the line. I will choose to refresh an atom out. You can give me mana from the pool, sir. 
All right, just one. Yeah, just one. All right, what do I want to do now? My turns aren't as fancy as yours are anymore. That's it. <laughs> that's all I got. Oh, that's fun. So now you get to see something fun. So I'm going to pay one to activate both. Um, the forest, I get a free wasteland and city transfer. So, city and wasteland. That's some cheating. And then I get a stone, water, or lava. Let's see, where can I place? Here. Okay, that's my turn. Alright, I'm gonna go here. Uh, one of these will go on... I'd like to go here, but in order to get here, I'm gonna need to spend two, right? It's going to cost me three to use any of these. Yep. So I'll use three, which will give me a blue and a white. Yep. So we'll go with a white there. And can I get a blue? I can, right here. Right? Mm hmm. And I can spend. Jeez. Five more to get this one, but I can't afford it. It would be nice to have this guy back. But well, unfortunately, your administrative duties were a little miss. A little yeah, little mess. your turn. All right, I will just go here and I'll spend four to activate both of these. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's see if I can connect to this town right here. So. I need a either forest or an ice of lava hmm. and stone. I can get close though, I guess. So here's a stone. Here is a forest. And here is a lava. I want to hit the lava. I recover one. Hmm. Two, that's for free. Mm -hmm. And that's going to cost me. <laughs> two. To use this one and this one. I can place one. On the water. Or one. Desert. Who do you feel is winning? <sighs> Probably you. I actually can't tell. Yeah. Oh, you know that spot where you have three? Oh, I That's can't. Not allowed to do that. Oh, I can't do that. Shoot. Just ignore that. I actually didn't even use. Well, this you didn't one. use the middle one, but you did use that one. Did you use the the desert one as well? I used these these two. Uh, these two. So perhaps I should do it like that then, yeah. since I've never actually used that one. All right. Uh, so it's my move then. Yeah. Okay. A mountain and a desert. Or a. I've just been cheating all over this game. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. That's what you get for a first time playthrough. Alright, so zero, and then I'll pay one to move one more. And then, let's see, pay one to get a forest or water. Yeah, okay, I'll pay one to get a forest or water. 
I'll place here. And one more for a desert. No, no, that's it. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go to the end of the line here. All right, I gotta turn something in here. Okay, you're connected to red, blue, green. I'm connected to everything. You're not connected to red. Yep. Oh, you're connected to red. I'm okay. connected to all the things. And I got three yellow. Two green. Let's go with the two green, I suppose. All right, you guys can go over here, I guess. And I guess I'll do one last refresh of mana. This is probably terrible choices, but I'm making them. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. I actually can do one more if I wanted to. Alright. Um I'm gonna press and refresh. Or refresh free. What? Yeah, speak louder. We can't I'm hear going you. to Spend one and just move to the end of the line. Uh, I'll deliver four red. Two here. Three. Four, three. Okay. And four. Oh, that's five. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, and then I will refresh my mana. Actually, I'm gonna gain. I'm gonna gain the specialist. Last specialist. So and then you can go. All right. Oh, you got. You're gonna get these. Are these worth? I don't even know what they're worth. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. I'll go here, I guess. Now, if I want to go to here, can I not do that? This space over here? Sorry, what? If I want to go here by using transfers, I couldn't do that, huh? I can only go across cities, purple areas, the wastelands, and... Uh... Yeah, there's no way for you to get to that hex. All right. Now, can I go through more than one of your sta yep, stations? Yeah, it costs for each of them. So it would cost me four, but then I can put one right here. And then for an extra mana, I could place one on the blue. And to go through a city will cost me three, which I'll do here. Uh, that was a lot. Hopefully it was worth it. All right, your turn. I'll take this tile. I gotta that sure. is, I can take an extra turn once per game. So it cost me four, five, refresh six, seven, eight. Okay, so I get one back actually because I get the, re the refund. I will start by taking a boxcar and then administrating. I'll take a boxcar and then administrate. Uh, which 
which will give me this one and this one. And then this refreshes and my mana refreshes. Good. Okay, well, hmm. Two mana left. And then I administrate it so I take a D1 delivery. Yellow. That's it. cost. I don't want that one. Or water or lava. Desert and stone. Okay, I'll take that. Let's just place one piece here and we'll go one more for placing this here. It's your turn. Alright, I am going to move 1, 2, spend 2 for the third one, I'll turn in, 1, 2, 3, 4, for this one here, and then I'll go back here. And I can choose one of these guys here, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess I'll go for that last mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Mm -hmm. All right, you're out. All right, I'll pay one to move extra space. One, two. I will pay three to activate two tiles so I'll get a stone and a water and a desert and refresh one of my mana here's a water and a desert and there's a stone That is my turn. Alright. I will... I'll move two. You're up. Okay, I'll activate my power. Zero, zero, zero. To a delivery. I'll collect four stone. One. Two. See any more that we occupy the same one on? Doesn't look like it. So I'll take. No, you're one. taking the ones that I'm occupying with you? Yeah. And then this one. Still have a bunch of mana. I'll refresh. No, I'll get. I'll refresh my mana. There you go. My turn. Yep. Four, five, six. All the way across. Turn in. 
And we will do Take this. Okay. Oops. And huh, I guess we'll get one of these guys here. Active ability ones. Some functions just like mine, huh? Spend one to move extra, uh, one to take an extra placement. Okay, so that's two, and I'll recover one, and I'll place on a lava and a forest or a glacier. So forest. Let me place these two here. Anything else? Uh, no, that is it. And when the game's over, when these six are breached, and then what happens? The trigger's the end game. Which is? After any company has collected the required number of demand tiles or ran out of train cars, continue playing until all companies have taken the same number of turns. So play returns to the start player once this is done, each company. <laughs> They make one final delivery in reverse turn order, starting with the last player. This final delivery is not a full turn, so players may not use specialists to remove the conductor. Damn it. And they still aren't demand tiles if your delivery is eligible for one. Alright. Your turn? Okay. I just, all I do is move two and place on here. I will. Or three. Use this to take an extra turn after this one. Uh, so my first turn will be to administrate, so I'll recover my abilities. Uh, I'll claim one of these before I take my turn. And that, that, the green one is once a turn then? Once, once a game. game. Once a game. It's very powerful. Like, taking an extra turn is pretty powerful. Okay, so my first turn was administrating. I, um, I activated my ability, took an extra turn, uh, refreshed my abilities, yep. and now it's my next turn. So I'm going to activate this to move. So I'll spend two. I'll go zero, 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 two. And I will do a turn in of something. Of red. One. Oh, I already have two. this one. Um, is there another four available? Do I have ice? I don't have that much ice. One ice. Okay, I'll do. Uh, you have three red? One, and you picked up one, and then one more. Okay. Put both on your board. Oh, yeah. This one was from a previous turn, I hadn't taken it. I will refresh my powers. <laughs> Searching. Okay. I'll go there. Take this. Put it there. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay. Um. I'll go. Here, and I'll pay I need two left. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so I can't. I'll just do pay one to move, one for an extra, and that'll be it. So I'll gain a glacier, and I'll gain. A 
of lava. So I'll just gain one mana back. Okay. And that is that turn. All right. I'll move. Yep. I will turn in. Uh, white. One, two, three, four. And I'll take this one here. So how does the end game trigger? Uh, that triggered the end game, so we play equal turns, so I get one more turn. Um, I'll then deliver as well, which I think I'll deliver. Stone's got three, so I'll deliver stone. Now, in reverse turn order, we can both do one more delivery, but we don't get any special actions. Um, one, two, so I'll go one, two, three. I'll deliver this one. Uh, yeah, one and two white, I think. I think that's my best. I'll take this. Now we go to um, scoring. I'm gonna pull out the handy dandy scoring tablet. Wanna we'll set it up. Erasing our last score. Here you go. I have a feeling you're gonna win this one. All right, we start with one victory point for each good delivered. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, we got three, six, 10, Twenty-two. Okay. Uh, victory points equal to the sum of the values on your demand tile. So. Just the numbers, right? Yeah. Three, six, nine, ten, fourteen. Six turn. Uh, award tiles. Uh, okay. Six points to the uh, vict uh, six victory points to the player who fulfills each objective. Uh, no second place in a two-player game. Well, okay, you so definitely this, got that one. Okay. Yeah. So six points for you. Mm -hmm. This and is uncollected goods remaining in your network. I have one, two. I have two. Okay, well. I have, you got that one. You got that one as well. Easily. All right. Um, um, 40, 50. That looks like it for scoring with the exception of tiebreakers. You have 52 points, 666 six, six, and 4, so that's 20, uh, 22. Yep, and then I just got 36 points. 36 to 54. I think I actually scored one more because when I administrated on the extra turn, I should have taken one more delivery. But Probably. Yeah. Well, you, either way, you won. And that's Imperial Spells and Steam. Uh, I really enjoyed this game. I was enjoying this game my first couple turns. You like the engine building aspect? I goofed it? a little bit, but I'm also trying to control the camera, so, like, I was like, I didn't, sometimes I, I missed, uh, Now, we got this game, in like, while. an hour before I got here, and then I came in and sat down and read the rules, yep. and then we charged the battery for, like, 30 minutes, and then we played it. Yep, so, there you go. Imperial. Uh, how'd you like it? It was good. Yeah? Yeah. I, I think this is probably one of my favorites of theirs, actually. Like, I wasn't sure what to expect with this one, honestly. I think I, I would play the nice version of this game and take out the mean tiles. We haven't seen them, but I I feel like this game was fun enough without being mean. Uh, yeah. No, I I haven't I haven't seen... I, I didn't we, go we didn't, through that we, that much. Well, no, well there's, there's certain cards in here and certain cards in here. Like, one of them is like a car bomb or something that... Uh, Can mess with players. Yeah, so I was like, this game's fun enough. Fights... I, I, I would personally like building my stuff and not liking having people uh, 
uh, destroy my things. Like, you, like taking things from a place is, uh, is something different. Oh, uh, you got you did that to me. I, I never did that to you at all. I wasn't even. Well, I'm saying aware that that doesn't bother me as much as uh, I don't know. Maybe you move my rail over to here or something. It's like somewhat. It's like a uh, ticket to ride meets uh, an area control game. It's, with it's kind of not really actually area control. It's kind of like area racing. Yeah. You're controlling areas to try and gather these things here. Uh, it play really well, I think, six players as well. I think it'd just be crazy. And 20 minutes per player is about right, I yeah. think. What's the time on this thing? This, game, this game's like Francis Drake. 56 it, minutes? It looks scary. It's 20 minutes a player, is what the game says. Mm -hmm. And we played 56 minutes, probably a little less than 50, probably like 50 minutes. Yep. And that's with just reading the rules once, having to go through it all. Yeah, this will, this will play probably maybe even less than 20 yeah, minutes see, this, this game is one of those like Francis Drake where it looks completely scary, but move, administrate. Yeah. That's it. Simple. Anyway, thanks for playing. Cool. Hope you guys were enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed our little uh, lazy playthrough with all our background noises and whatnot. I'll try and clean up and editing, but... Don't expect too much. I got enough work to do. I just wanted to give you guys something extra, something extra special. And Imperial is a really cool looking game. I was excited to pop it out and try it the first day we got it. So here we, we got it. And for the most part, most of you should be getting the game now. Uh, it was on Kickstarter. And I'm guessing most backers are picking it up right now, just as we did as reviewers. Awesome. So uh, you'll have fun with this one. I really enjoyed this one. We'll probably do a review for this at some point um, in the near future. But here's a playthrough video. All right. Talk to you guys later. And as always, we we'll look forward to seeing you guys next time. Ha <laughs>